Topic is Dijkstra algorithm. This algorithm is for single source shortest path problem. If a weighted graph is given, then we have to find our shortest path from some starting vertex to all other vertices. Let us say I am selecting starting vertex as 1, then I have to find out shortest path to all the vertices. Maybe a direct path or via other vertices. And I can select any one of the vertex as a source vertex. As we have to find out the shortest path, so it's a minimization problem. And the minimization problem is an optimization problem. So optimization problems can be solved using greedy method. Greedy method says that a problem should be solved in stages by taking one step at a time and considering one input at a time to get an optimal solution. And in greedy method, there are predefined procedures and we follow that procedure to get a optimal solution. So Dijkstra algorithm gives a procedure for getting an optimal solution that is minimum result that is shortest path. In this video I will show how a Dijkstra algorithm works and the Dijkstra algorithm can work on a directed as well as non-directed graph and also I will show you the drawback of Dijkstra algorithm. Let us see the approach of Dijkstra algorithm. For that, I will show you the basic thing that is followed by Dijkstra. So for that, first of all, I will take a very small example and show you. To show the approach of Dijkstra algorithm, I have taken a very small graph here. From this, we will understand what is the approach of Dijkstra. If I say one is the starting vertex and I want to find the shortest path to two as well as three. So if you see from this graph, there is a direct path to vertex 2, so its cost is 2. And there is no direct path to 3, so we don't know what is the path. First of all, we consider a direct edge path. But now, if we follow this algorithm, we will be selecting first the shortest path vertex. So this is shortest because this is 2, that is infinity. So we will select this one. And Dijkstra says that once you have selected one of the shortest path, then check via that vertex, from that vertex, there is any shortest path to other vertices. So let us check who is connected to 2. So from 2 we can go 3. This is 2 plus 4, that is 6. And right now it is infinity. Yes, this infinity can be changed to 6. This means that there is a shortest path from vertex 1, 2, 3 of distance 6. No doubt, it's not a direct path, it's coming via 2, but there is a path. That's how the Dijkstra algorithm always select a vertex with a shortest path, then it will update the shortest path to other vertices if possible. And this updation is called as relaxation. Let me show you how this relaxation works. For that, I will call this vertex as U and this vertex as V. And this is distance of u and this is distance of v initially it was infinity now it is a change to 6 and this is cost of an edge from u to v so here relaxation means if the distance of vertex u plus cost of an edge u comma v is less than distance of vertex v see here the distance of u was 2 and the cost of an edge was 4 and this was initially infinity. So this 2 plus 4 is less than infinity. Yes. So we have modified this to 6. So we will modify this one. That is distance of V is modified to distance of U plus cost of an edge U comma V. This is what we followed and this is called as relaxation and we do relaxation for the vertices. Whenever we select a shortest path, we will try to relax other vertices. Now let us follow this procedure and solve this graph problem to find the shortest path. Let me solve this graph problem. For this I will select this vertex as the source vertex, starting vertex, S starting vertex. Now I will give the distances for all the vertices by considering just single edge. So I will label the distances above those vertices only. This distance is 0 and this distance is 2. This distance is 4. From 1 to 4, there is no direct edge infinity. From 1 to 5, there is no direct edge infinity. Similarly, 6 is also infinity. X 
except two and three all are infinity this is the initial thing that we should do for any graph now let us start the repeating steps now the steps will be repeating first step select the shortest path out of two four infinity 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 this is smallest select this one once we selected this we should perform relaxation what is that check who are connected three and four are connected just check the distance of u that is two plus one three and this is four three is less than four modify this then this is also connected 2 plus 7, 7 is, this is 9 and this is infinity, modify this, 9. That's all, some vertices are relaxed. They may or may not relax, but we should check this one. Now second step, now the step is repeating, same thing I should do. Select the smallest one, 3, infinity, 9, infinity. Which one is the smallest, shortest, this one, select this one. Now check if any vertex get relaxed. So there is only one connected, it's 3 plus 3, 6, this is infinity, so change it. Now select the shortest, out of what? 6, 9, infinity. Which one is shortest? This one. Select this one and see who are connected and try to relax them. So 6 plus 2 is 8 and this 9, so this is more smaller, modify it. 6 plus 5 is 11, this is infinity, modify it. So two vertices are modified, they are relaxed. Now, who are remaining? Four and six. Who is minimum? Eight. Select this one. And check if anything gets relaxed. Eight plus one is nine. It's already 11. Modified. So here I have taken an example. Most of the time the vertices are modifying, their distances are modifying. They may or may not modify. Now the last one is remaining is six. So now we have the shortest path from starting vertex 1 to all other vertices. So what are the other vertices 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. What are the distances I got? For 2 it is 2 and 3 it is 3 and 4 it is 8, 5 is 6 and 6 is 9. These are the distances of all the vertices and these are the set of vertices. These are dv's and these are vertices. So that's how a text algorithm works on a graph to find the shortest path. Let us little bit analyze and find out the time complexity of this algorithm. If you analyze what it is doing, it is finding shortest path to all the vertices. How many vertices are there? These are the vertices or we can also say n number of vertices. So for all vertices, it's finding shortest path. While doing so, what it is doing? It is relaxing. Relaxing which vertexes? When it is on 3, it is relaxed. It has relaxed only 5. When it was on 2, it has relaxed only 3 and 4. So total how many vertices it may be relaxing? We don't know. It depends on the graph. Okay. At most how many vertices it may be relaxing? All n vertices. Suppose 2 is connecting to all. Then it may be relaxing all of them. It may be checking all of them. So again, it is V. So it means N into N. N for vertices and N vertices are relaxed. So when it will happen that from two all are connected, then again three all are connected, that will be a complete graph. In case of complete graph, it will take N into N time and this will be N square. So this is the worst case time of extra algorithm maximum time it may be order of n square i can write it as theta of v square or theta of n square the worst case time and i can use theta there once i know that function that is n square and it belongs to some class that is n square class quadratic class so this is theta of n square here i have a weighted directed graph commonly found in textbooks on this, we will run the extra algorithm to solve single source shortest path problem. So I will not be updating the distances upon the vertices itself, but I will be writing them in the table. So let us see how I can prepare this table. So instead of writing there, I am writing here. So initially, I should find the direct paths to all the vertices. So for 2, it is 5, 50, 3, it is 45. Likewise, all the paths are given. And one thing to mention here, the starting vertex is 1. 
So in the graph you can see 1 to 2, 50, 1 to 3, 45, 1 to 4, 10, 1 to 5, no edge, 1 to 6, no edge. So 50, 45, 10, infinity, infinity, already given. Let us solve it. The smallest vertex is 4, so I'll select vertex 4. So the selected vertex is 4. Then once the vertex 4 is selected, see from 4, 5 is connected. So can we relax this one? So 4 is a 10, 10 plus 15, 25, yes. 5 can be modified and we got a path that is infinity, so it is 25 now. And this remains infinity and this is 10 which is already selected, 45 and 50, they remain as it is. Now select the next smallest one, so this one, vertex 5 is selected. So vertex 5 when it is selected, there is an edge to 3 and there is an edge to 2. So if I take 2, how much is 5? 25 now. So I did not mention here. 25 plus 20, 45. And this distance is already 50. This is 50. But now we have a shorter path via 5 that is 45. So modify this 45. And this is also 45. This 10 is selected. 25 is selected. This still remains infinity. Now I have to select the next shortest one. So I have 45, 45 infinity. So I can pick up any one. So I'll select the second vertex 2. Once vertex 2 is selected, from there the connected vertex is 3. So plus 10, 45 plus 10, 55. But already the distance to 3 is 45. So 45 plus 10 will be 55. So this is smaller, no change. So this remains as it is. 45 is already selected. This remains 45 only. 10 is selected, 25 is selected and infinity. Now select next minimum. So 3, 3 is selected. Now from 3, there is an edge coming towards 5. But 5 is already in the selected vertex. Don't check it. If you check also, it's of no use. See 30 is how, 3 is how much? 45. 45 plus 30 will be uh, 75. So already 5 is having its weight as distance as 25. So no use of checking it. So nothing is relaxed and this is selected. That's all. So 45 selected, 46 this is also selected, 10 selected, 25 selected, infinity. Now who is remaining? Infinity is remaining. So 6 is also selected. So the path to vertex 6 has remained infinity only because there is no incoming edge on 6. So we cannot reach 6. The path to vertex 6 is infinity only. This is how the extra algorithm works. The extra algorithm can work on non-directed graph also. Suppose you have a graph, simple example I will take here. Simple example I have taken here. Now how it works on this one. So if you are not comfortable with non-directed edges, you can convert them into directed by adding parallel edges. So you can say this is a 3 and this is also 3. Now it becomes a directed graph. So you can convert a non-directed graph to directed graph. right? So it can work on both directed as well as non-directed graph. Now I will show you the drawback of Dijkstra algorithm. Let us see the drawback of Dijkstra algorithm. For that I have taken a very simple graph and it is having a negative weighted edge. The weight of this edge is negative. So weight of an edge, how it can be negative? See it is not distance. So distance is not, not measured in positive negative. Right? But any problem or any business problem, we can represent it using graphs. Like usually when we want to explain something to our friend, then what we do, we just take a paper and draw something. So what is that? It looks like a graph only. So most of the problems from real world are mapped in the form of a graph. So when you are representing something in the form of a graph, it may have positive and negative values also. So this is not exactly distance that is measured by tape. But this is some value. So those values can be negative also. So actually Dijkstra has not considered that if there are negative edges then what we should do. He has not considered. Let us see what happens if we follow his procedures on this one. Let us start. If I say this is the starting vertex then the distance is 0. Then the direct edge path is 3 and the direct edge path is 5. And there is no direct edge path so this is infinity. 
this is the initial setup of Jigstra. Now let us solve this one. Which one I should select? The smallest one, the shortest path is two. Select this one. Are there any connected vertices to this one? So that I can relax? No, there is no outgoing edges from two. Leave it. Next, select the next smallest. So five and infinity, so five is the smallest. So select four. If we select this four, then will it relax any vertex? Yes, the connected vertex is three. So what is that path? 5 plus 2, 7. So this is 7. Now, both are selected. Third one is remaining. Select that one also. Once this is selected, shall we relax that one? No, no need. Already we learned that. When already vertex is already relaxed, no need to check it. Let us check it once. 7 minus 3 is 4. No, already it is 3. So that's better. So all the things are perfect. The answer is perfect. So Dijkstra algorithm has worked even when there is a negative weight edge. Now I'll make a small change. I'll restart again. I'll start over again. And now I will make this edge as minus 10. Let us see what happens now. I am again finding the shortest path to all the vertices. This is the source vertex, so it is 0. And this is 3. And this is 5. And there is no direct edge path infinity. I am performing this once again because I have changed an edge. Now let us see. Select the minimum one. So two is minimum selected. Anything get modified? No. Next minimum is this one. Anything get modified? That's five plus two is seven. Modify this. Next minimum is this one. And this is the last one. Shall I relax that? No, it's already selected. But let us check it once. Seven minus 10 minus 3 now actually the path we found was a 3 but now we realize that when we come along these vertices and reach here it is minus 3 so we were in a hurry to select the shortest path to vertex 2 and we select it as 3 it was wrong if we would have tried the other way we would have got the better answer so actual correct answer is minus 3 but Dijkstra has given us the wrong answer and also asks us not to check those vertices which are already relaxed. We should not check them because no need to check. You will not find any better answer. But here we are finding a better answer. The reason is we have a negative edge. So Dijkstra algorithm may work or may not work in case of negative edges. That's all about single source shortest path problem. And the approach was greedy. You can see, you can see the greediness here. That See, it is not trying all possibilities and selecting the minimum one. It found that this minimum selected. Right? This is what the greedy approach. So greedy approach has failed here when there are negative edges. Alright? There is another solution for this single source shortest path problem that is Bellman Ford's algorithm. We will see that in dynamic programming. Alright? So next video will be on dynamic programming. These are the topics I have covered from greedy method. Leave your comment so that I can know how you are following the videos, right? If any suggestion, just give me. I'll try to implement them in my next videos.